Good afternoon. This video I'm going to deal with a, a video or a comment that received on one of my videos. And this person doesn't make content on their channel. So I answered them a couple answers and I blocked them. They obviously don't get the message. If you don't have content in your, in your, your, your fake channel, you don't have any content, I'm blocking you. But uh, let's listen. Let's look at what it's the individual has to say. Brandon, some funny, funny name. Uh, Let's see here. Bring this video up. Now, this really goes to the issue of losing the Holy Spirit in the Old Testament. Getting south, getting the, every Old Testament saint wasn't filled with the Holy Spirit. Going to open the Holy Spirit in the Old Testament. So losing the Holy Spirit wouldn't be a criteria for salvation. In the New Testament, we all receive the Holy Spirit because of our union with Christ. They didn't receive all of the Holy Spirit. They received the Holy Spirit for a particular purpose. So uh, let me see here. Find it. First question was was here. Uh, question to Edward: Why is it nowhere mentioned in Revelation that people are sealed with the Holy Spirit? Of course, I do believe we are sealed with the Holy Spirit based on Paul's epistles for this dispensation. From what I see, there's two uh, different ways people are saved. You can't take something from Paul's epistles specifically for the mystery in the body of Christ's church and make it apply to people in the tribulation. No one's saying you can. You can't make everything apply. But you can make some things apply. And there are people sealed. 144,000 are sealed. With names. On God's name on their forehead. Different type of sealing. John 10 it talks about the Father holding people in his hands. That's a different type of eternal security. I've watched many of your videos and can understand what you're, t you're stating. But I think that, it, that, it, that is your one mistake. Instead of just assuming salvation... Is the same even in the tri uh, tribulation. Why not just go by what the Bible literally says about salvation during that time period? What does it say? It says, believe in Jesus and keep the commandments. We're told to believe in Jesus and keep the commandments. <laughs> so both the commandments are love God and love our neighbor. That shows your salvation. You can't have God changing his, his, his character. He does not allow works in his system. That's what Romans 4 is saying. That's what Romans 2, 8, 9, uh, Ephesians 2, 8, 9 is saying. Lest any man should boast. These guys think that God can just, just allow boasting? No. Every system, there's the method is based on God's attributes. Instead of just assuming salvation, I'm not assuming anything. Even in tribulation. Now, I said the content to be kingdom gospel. Different gospel. See, they, these guys always want, what they want to do is they always want to take what, they ignore exactly what you're really saying. And want to set up a straw man by saying, well, we're saying everything was the same in the Old Testament and New Testament. No, we say everything was the same. The content of the gospel is different. But the method is the same. It's always by faith. Why not just go back to the Bible literally says it's about salvation in that time period. I am so long, literally. It's by faith alone. Nowhere does it say you have to work for your salvation. Their works idea comes from the idea they don't have to take the mark. They can't take the mark. They're not supposed to do something. That's where this works company idea comes from. They can't get the idea, get through their heads that God protects these people from taking the mark with grace. So it's not a work for them not taking the mark. It's the grace of God they don't take the mark. Again, from reading Revelation, there's nothing that states people... Uh, it's a long thing, yeah. These guys. Well, there's nothing that states that people are sealed with the Holy Spirit. They don't have to be sealed with the Holy Spirit to have um, see assumption there. They don't have to be have eternal security the way we have eternal security. Uh, let's see here. People are only mentioned to be sealed with the Holy Spirit during Paul's epistles. Well, it doesn't matter. The fact is, that's how that's how our means of uh, eternal security, not theirs. This shows that there are two different Gospels, preached the two different ways. Also, in different dispensations, people are being saved. What it shows is that 
the method of internal security is different. That's all. That's all it shows. There's anything about uh, works involved there. Uh, let's see. Uh, that is my thing. Is I take the literal words of God says. I'm not going to assume it is the same in other dispensations. Well, you're contradicting the word of God. That's the purpose of this video, which you obviously didn't watch. You can't have works because that would contradict what it's saying in Romans 4. Also, there are verses, uh, even in the uh, Old Testament, for example, that show David talking to God, asking God not to take away his Holy Spirit from him. Psalm 51, 11, he cast not away thy presence, take not thy Holy Spirit from me. When I read that verse, yeah, because the Old Testament people, like King Saul, had the Holy Spirit, some of them had the Holy Spirit given for particular purposes, and they could lose the Holy Spirit, like Samson did. Was Samson a saved man? Yeah, he shows up in uh, 1 Corinthians, uh, 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 he was 11. It's a saved man. Uh, let's see. So even the Old Testament gospel by which people were saved was different and showed that a person could, in fact, lose the Holy Spirit. Not everyone had the Holy Spirit. And they therefore, they got it for a particular work that God had intended for them, and therefore they could lose it. But it had nothing to do with their salvation. Uh, so from what I can see, truly in our dispensation, it is only faith. It is only faith alone that saves us. But in other dispensations, it was different. That was always by faith alone. Not by faith alone. This is the type of warped thinking you get from these people. And so my reply was, uh, I got two thumbs up here on this thing. Let's see here. First, 144,000 are sealed uh, in the foreheads. Not sealed the way we are, but sealed in the foreheads. A different kind of seal, but a seal nevertheless. Second, what I take from Romans 4 is that both Abraham and David were saved by faith alone without works. So this person, when he comments, I didn't even mention these, what, I, the, what I comment. This is why I don't deal with them. I make these comments. The only thing they can do is go to uh, Psalm 51. They don't even say anything about the things I say here. Uh, those who want a faith work system have to make David's comments a prophecy about the church age. Third, I never said it was the same gospel. The content of what they had to believe had to be saved was different. Fourth, the Holy Spirit was given to select people for particular purposes, not for salvation. David was praying not to lose the joy of his salvation. It's exactly what he quoted. The joy of his salvation, not his salvation. The joy of his salvation. That's fellowship. That's fellowship. You clearly have a time reading simple English. And you clearly don't know what you're talking about. Nor did you deal with the apparent contradiction between Romans 4 and James 2. So here the person comes back and this is why I block these people. Wasting my time. Brandon, uh, again, back up here. Apparently, uh, apparently, okay, apparent, no, no, apparently, you don't know how, you don't know sing, uh, simple English. Psalm 51, verse 8 says, Let, Make me hear joy and gladness that the bones which thou hast broken may rejoice. Verse 11, cast uh, not me with, uh, not away from the, my presence and take not thy Holy Spirit from me. So what are you talking about? David was talking about not losing the joy of his salvation. Where do you get that this from? Get it from the, get it from the passage. <laughs> That's what it says in Psalms. Did you read the passage? I just read what the verses uh, say. Are you just mixing everything everything you read? You really need to uh, take some time to read your Bible and stop mixing simple simple words with other things in the Bible. One verse, when he talked about the joy, uh, joy in the other verse, he talked about God not taking the Holy Spirit from him. Uh, the joy, the joy of his salvation. The joy of his salvation is we found him not taking the Holy Spirit from him. No, it's nice. He said he's not taking the Holy Spirit from him. But what he was going to lose was the fellowship of the Holy Spirit, not his salvation. Don't take the joy of thy salvation away from me. And so uh, here's my reply here. Uh, where did I get that from? Restore unto me the joy of thy salvation and uphold me with thy free spirit. Since eternal salvation wasn't based on one getting the Holy Spirit, losing it didn't affect their salvation either. It affected the joy of their salvation. That's why Saul was so miserable. King Saul, uh, when he lost the uh, uh, the Holy Spirit, and uh, Psalm fifty one. This is by the way, this is when the big proof text. Psalm fifty one. What Psalm fifty one is talking about is um, losing the um, losing that fellowship. See here, verse eight. Uh, make me hear joy and gladness that the bones that thou hast broken may rejoice. Hide thy face. This is when he was going through this year period when he refused to confess his sin regarding Bathsheba and uh, Uriah. 
Uh, hide thy face from my sins and blot out all my iniquities. Create me a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit within me. He wanted to get back in fellowship. Cast, uh, cast me not away from thy presence and take not thy Holy Spirit from me. He would have lost his salvation. He would have lost his fellowship. He's, he has to begin his fellowship. He didn't want what happened to Saul to happen to him. Restore unto me the joy of thy salvation. Restore unto me the joy of thy salvation. Restore. He hadn't lost the salvation. He had still the Holy Spirit. So these people are saying, well, he would have lost the Holy Spirit. He, would, he said, restore unto me the joy. The Holy Spirit gave him peace and comfort. But now he had basically lost that fellowship with the Holy Spirit. And he could have left. The Holy Spirit could have left him. But he would not have been unsaved. So this is what you get with these guys. And yeah, Psalm 51 is one of their brief talk, And they don't look at the issue of the joy of the Holy Spirit as being the issue. Fellowship. King Saul was never, never happy again once he lost the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit was in him and left him. And uh, Holy Testament saints could lose, uh, lose the Holy Spirit like Samson. Go out, come back in, go back in. I don't have church age. And again, there's another person no content. They don't have guts. I, these are breaker people with no guts. They don't put up there. They're not coming from their real, 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 real channels. Uh, they might, I don't know who these guys are. And uh, you know, the person, you deal with the answer there. And what? They don't deal with the answer. They go into, they say, well, you, you can't read. You can't see. The, yeah, it's the joy of salvation. Samson lost the joy of his sal salvation. He lost the Holy Spirit. And then he got restored and his hair grew back. The Holy Spirit could come and go in that dispensation. But not everyone received the Holy Spirit because that was not the basis of salvation. So they didn't have it. We have it now because we have our bodies made the temple of the Holy Spirit. So everyone receives the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit comes into you and makes a temple in your body. And you have the circumcision made not without, without hands. And you have a new nature. That's different. But these guys can see one thing different. They can hear everything different. Well, they think we say, we're saying everything different. And the fact is, we understand there's differences. We understand differences. But they don't, you know, so they don't deal with what the video is talking about. You can't have works in any system in any dispensation, period. Period. Because it will allow you to boast. And Break admitted that. And he said, works is boasting. Well, that doesn't change any dispensation. Those who don't take the mark and endure to the end, you think they can boast to God? They would have done so because of the grace of God kept them from doing so. Oh, God, I didn't take that mark. You owe me. <laughs> yeah, that's what these guys want you to believe. You owe me, God. Look at me. I didn't take that mark. I didn't do it to the end. You owe me. You know, I don't owe anybody, anybody, anything. That's what these, these, these idiots are telling me. Because the this, eternal this security is different. It doesn't exist. Well, I can't, you know, our eternal security is based on union price. That's what this guy in this book here talking. Uh, this guy here. He said, well, you know, you're not in the body. And so if you're not in the body, you didn't have eternal security. No. You kept by the Father's hand. In John 10. Different way of keeping it. These guys want to make it say, like, well, you know, it's obviously our term security is different, so therefore they didn't have a term security. No, we had a different way of doing it. God can do things differently, you know, and he can still accomplish the same thing. But if you have no content in your, in your channel, don't, don't make comments on it. You know, at, at least comment on actually the video is talking about. You know, the fact is I can't use no content, content people. It's like, you know, who are you people? I don't know you. And then the next comment comes up there. I can't read Psalm 51, which is the joy of salvation. The joy. He's losing his fellowship. Psalm 51 is talking about how miserable he is. God is making him miserable because the Holy Spirit is, is not working in him. And he's refusing to confess. He would have been killed had not confessed when Nathan went to him. If David hadn't confessed, then God was going to kill him. He still wouldn't he still would have him with bosom. These guys think every time they see a, a, a person dying, uh, it, they, that means only they lost their salvation. Like they think King, King Saul did. They think King Saul lost his salvation. He, he didn't. He gave him his bosom. 
So we'll stop here and put this up. And uh, got more stuff to come in the future. But, uh, you know, if you don't have a content on your page, don't waste your time. I'll give you, I'll give you, a, a, when you first see, I'll give you a discussion. And then I'll see right off the bat, you're just trolling me. Just trolling me. So we'll stop here and put this up. Amen. Thank you.